you guys so we're just gonna jump right on in so these are the two palettes that I'm using today my Juvia's disco party palette and my copacetic cosmetics Luna so first let's start with the Juvia's palette this is what it looks like as you can see there are two glitters in this palette very very pretty but I know a lot of people are tired of glitter but these glitters are actually really really gorgeous as you can see and I'm also uni using my Luna palette and it has the flaky shimmers in here. So I am going to put down some NYX glitter primer just to kind of show you guys how I found best to use these shimmers. And so I found that just kind of tapping some on my fingers and tapping it on top of the glitter primer makes it show up the best for me. Nice and pretty, shiny and smooth. So I'm just going in and swatching the rest of the palette for you guys so you can see all four shades. These are super duper pretty, you guys. As you can see, very shiny, very glisteny, <laughs> and the colors are popping. So I'm using my P. Louise base as usual, and I'm going into the Juvia's palette and just taking that dark blue matte. There is only one matte in this palette. So I am taking a kind of pointed fluffy brush and just tapping that in the inner and outer corners to create the base, you know, for this halo eye. Now I grabbed a bunch of singles from my Makeup Obsession palettes. I did empty my palettes into this singles palette and decided to grab this light blue shade out of here just to kind of soften up the edge of that dark blue. And I think it worked out really nicely. I like how those two blues look together and it blended out super easy. Just looks really, really nice and smooth. So next I'm going into the one shimmer in the Juvia's palette. Sprayed my brush as you can see with a little bit of setting spray. And I'm just tapping that on those edges to kind of frame up the middle portion of this halo eye. Going in with that NYX glitter primer before I use one of the Luna shades. I decided to go in with that blue shade to kind of keep this a monochromatic look. And I'm just tapping that <laughs> right over that glitter primer. And it looks so, so pretty, you guys. I love these shimmers. At first I was kind of like, man, they're so flaky. How am I gonna use these? But they work so easily over the glitter primer, so easily. So. Now I decided to just use some black liquid liner and keep it simple, you know, nothing drastic, no wing or anything, just lining the lash line. Now for my face, I'm using my Becca Velvet Blurring Primer today. This stuff is very watery. It's kind of like a peachy color as you can see and it goes on pretty smooth but what I found is that if you work it in too much and you do too much moving you will get little balls on your face which is very annoying so you can't really do too much with this primer just kind of put it on and press it in for my dark circles you guys know i've been using my essence camouflage concealer this stuff has been working really well for me you guys for my hyperpigmentation and dark circles i'm loving it <laughs> i really am it's a very nice affordable concealer now for foundation, I'm using my Kat Von D. This is the new one that I got. And what is this called? True Portrait Liquid to Powder. And I don't know, you guys. It's not a bad foundation at all. It's actually a really nice foundation. It's just not my favorite. I think maybe when I first put it on, it comes off a little bit more dewy than I like. But once I put on my concealer and powder and all that stuff, it actually looks really nice. Coverage is great and everything. I just think it might be a little too dewy for me. So this is my Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is what I've been using for my Shop My Stash. I like this concealer. I know I've said it before, but the more I use it, that's the more I find that I really like it. It's not super heavy. Gives a nice little amount of coverage. And I love the shade that I chose. So working out pretty nicely for me and I will list everything down in the description box so you guys can see what shades I use if you're curious so to set those areas in place I'm actually using my black opal true color 
ultra matte foundation powder today this is a lighter shade <laughs> which is called 500 dark so i'm just using that to set those highlighted areas in place and i really like this for a pressed powder it works very very nicely so i decided to play around with this elf kind of contour stick in shade deep i've had this in my drawer for quite a while and i don't use it because it doesn't really show up that much you know but as I put it on today, I was like, oh, you know what? I can see it. <laughs> it is showing up a little bit. So let me just go ahead and see what I could do with this. And so I just started shaping up my face and wanted to check it out. So I decided to use kind of like a dense flat brush to blend it out and just kind of see what would happen. I feel like this shade is more of a bronzer for me because, you know, it's not cool tone enough in my opinion to really call it a contour for me so yeah i feel like it bronzed me up really nicely actually so i might go ahead and get some more use out of this in the future now to set my face i'm using this milk makeup this is the blur and set loose powder and translucent deep and this is what she looks like so i'm just gently tapping that on my face honestly i don't feel like i really used enough um, I might have to tap some out and get a little bit more on my brush because I didn't really feel like it did anything. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'm using this pure out of the blue blush uh, compact today. I love this compact, you guys. Not only is it beautiful, but the blush is really, really pretty. Now for a little bit of sculpting just to kind of set that bronzer slash contour in place. I'm going into this Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Savannah Nights palette and just using that, you know, to kind of set those areas. And for my highlight, using the same little compact and I'm going in to add that glow on my cheeks and on my nose today. I think it's very nice. It's a very soft glow, but you can build it up to blinding if you want. So for my lower lash line, I'm using this Laura Mercy A. It's kind of like a, you know, eyeshadow stick that I got in my BoxyCharm. It's very pretty. It's in the shade Indigo. And beneath that, I am going back into that dark blue matte just to smoke out my lower lash line. I really like that, that kind of like cream stick from Laura Mercier. It's very, very pigmented. So I'm using the same highlighter to add my inner corner pop. And as you can see right here, that highlighter is not playing, okay? So I am still using my lollipop lashes. <laughs> These things are so huge, you guys. But I'm getting used to them. And for my lower lashes, I'm using my Milk Mascara. And I'm finding that I really like this mascara. The wand is, you know, pretty big for my lower lashes, but it's, it's a nice mascara. I'm using my BFF4 uh, lip liner from ColourPop. This is my old one from the Shayla collection. And I'm going in with this new Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Lipstick. I really like this. I like the color that I chose. This one is in the shade 13. Um, it looks like Holly maybe or Holy. It's really pretty. Just a nice, simple, basic lip color. And to set everything into place, I'm using my Cover Effects Setting Spray. So this is the look for today, you guys. I really like how it turned out. Very simple, easy to do, still kind of a bold look. I find that because my lids are a little wrinkled that I did get some creasing with the Copacetic Shimmer, but it still was very, very nice. And so I enjoyed creating this look. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!